Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine started last February, tearing a hole in the lives of millions in the country. On the other side of the world, some people in Lincoln are doing all they can to help, and some will even be traveling to the country soon. 1011 Now's John Grinvold has more on this story. I'm standing outside the Nebraska state capitol where Ukrainians here in Lincoln have been meeting every Saturday afternoon. One Lincolnite who's joined them every weekend is a pastor who plans on going to the war-torn country later in March. Facing harsh winds or burning sun, a dozen or more people have gathered across the street from the capital since the beginning of the invasion, wrapped in the flags of their homeland. This Ukrainian rally where we come to pray and support and to raise awareness for the Ukrainian cause. Some, like Michael, are Ukrainians with loved ones who wake to the clatter of bullets and bombs. Uh, my in-laws in Kherson. Some, like Pastor Gary Fuller, are Americans standing in solidarity. Our hearts have gone out to them, our compassion. We've been supporting them in one way or another, financially, prayer, um, emotional support for this last year. At the end of March, Gary and Michael are joining two others on a trip to Ukraine's front lines in the villages outside the recently liberated Kherson, where Michael is from. They got uh, uh, bombed and, and missiled like every day. This is insane. They're bringing 1,500 boxes of food. Each can provide for a family of four for two weeks. Michael says he looked on in horror and despair when the bombs started falling. Now, at least he'll have the chance to bring some light to his hometown. Just to hug them, uh, this is huge. That group is still raising money for their trip. We'll have more about that at our website at 1011now.com. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvolds, 1011now.